Okay, Google. Hello. Hi, what can I do for you? Hey, what's up guys? This guy back at it again for another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and basically run all the software and like assemble your voice hat. So this is part one of the Magic Mirror and stay tuned. So now it's time to make the voice hat. What you're going to need is a small screwdriver, the speaker, and the microphone with the wire. So first, get the speaker. Make sure the black wire is on the negative, and the red one is on the positive. Make sure it's firm so the speaker doesn't come loose. Right now. Okay. Now, plug the wire for the microphone into the microphone, which is this, and plug it into the big connector. And there you go. This is how you assemble your voice hat. So now what you want to do is copy the image of the file, the AOI projects file to the micro SD card which you have plugged into your computer. Also you're going to use etcher to etch the image onto the S micro SD card. So yeah, so click on the AOI projects file, go click on the image, and then drag it onto the desktop. That's going to take a while. Okay, now it's time to etch the image onto your micro SD card. And I'll be linking the software in the description below. Yeah, in my GitHub page. So now open up Etcher. Okay, now we opened it up. Uh, we're gonna hit select image. And then now, go click on the image which you just extracted to your desktop. Make sure you have the right SD card. Uh, mine is right. So I'm going to hit continue. Now, let's flash it. This is also going to take a while. the image has been copied onto your micro SD card and um, now um, we don't need the computer right now so let's go to our Raspberry Pi okay now we're on our Raspberry Pi and what we want to do is go click the Raspberry Pi icon and go all the way down to preferences and hit the Raspberry Pi config okay now we're just gonna change the password and the host name. Yeah, why? 
change my password. Okay, um, yeah. Hit OK once you've done it. Now I'm going to enable my splash screen because I want to. And then um, under scan, I'm going to enable it because I don't have any problems with it. Not scanning the whole, um, the whole screen. So if it doesn't scan the whole screen, you might as well disable it, but... So let's go to interfaces. I have enabled everything. Um, performance, if you want, you can do it, but I don't recommend it. Uh, localization, set the time and everything. I've done that. And then, um, reboot the Raspberry Pi. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna hit no because I don't want to do it right now. But if you're following along, you might as well do yes. So now I'm going to check the audio. Yes, I heard the sound. Hit Y. Okay, testing one, two, three. Okay, I heard something. Hit Y. And then enter to click. Okay, now we're going to set up the Wi Fi. Mine already come set up because I've done this before. So I set mine up. Now let's go to the internet browser and install the Magic Mirror software if you're following along with me. So we're just gonna search up um, Magic Mirror 2. And let the colors rain. Okay. So shut up. It's gonna go scroll down. The first one, you see the magic mirror. That's the one. That's a bunch of other people who did it. Okay, now scroll all the way down. All the way down. You should open up your terminal, just get ready for it, just minimize it, go all the way down. And then that's how you install it, just paste that into your terminal, copy it. Oh, I didn't copy it, but... Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, copy it. And then I'm gonna go to my terminal. And paste it. Okay, hit enter now. This is gonna take a long time, so you might as well go watch Netflix or something. <laughs> go grab, go grab a cup of coffee. Like seriously, this is gonna take a long time. Okay, now it's gonna prompt me to use PM2. So it's gonna auto start it. So I'm gonna hit Y. Because I need it for my Magic Mirror build. If you don't want it and you wanna manually start it, hit no, but I'm doing Y. So hit Y. And then this is gonna take a long time too, but not as long as the other download okay we have installed the magic mirror software it's gonna be that right now this is a uh, what it says the date the time everything um, it may look odd but it's because I'm on a smaller screen 
and because I'm using VNC. And yeah. I did have a struggle finding out how to stop it. So yeah, for so if you want to stop it temporarily, just hit control Q. The way you stop the magic mirror is by typing in PM2 stop magic mirror and as shown in the video the M on the mirror and the magic is capital so yeah okay now we're gonna install the Google assistant software so open up the web browser Um, we're gonna we're gonna go to the Google API services. So basically, you just search up console.developers.google.com. This is where you can enable it. Okay. So we're gonna create a new project. Um, the one which I have is already new, so yeah. If you want to hit a new one, just click that new project thing tab, and then um, I created one already. So we're going to enable the APIs and services. So now what we're going to do is search up the Google Assistant um, a uh, API. So search up Google Assistant. Google Assistant, yeah. Okay. Assistant API. Now we want to scroll down, click on it, and enable it. So we have enabled the API. Now we're gonna go to our credentials tab. We can go to the OAuth consent screen. And we're gonna fill in like our email and um, the product name. I'm gonna name it AIYPI2, um, the name of the project. So I'm just gonna keep it the same for simplicity. But yeah. Okay. And you don't have to fill out anything else. Just fill those two up. And now we're gonna go to our credentials tab. We're gonna scroll down and create our um, credentials. Create credentials, and now what we're gonna do is click on OAuth um, client ID. Yes, the client ID. Yep, that one. And um, oh, I forgot to save it, so we're gonna have to go back to the OAuth consent screen and put the AI Pi to the name in there and then I think there's a save button on oh yeah there is okay now we saved it and we're brought back to um credentials spot and we're gonna hit other and name it our product name and then why Pi 2, hit create, and 
Okay, we can we found out our OAuth client ID. We don't need that. So now we're gonna scroll down. And then we're gonna go over there and download the JSON file. Okay, we have downloaded our client secrets file, which is gonna help us enable the software. So now we're gonna go to our downloads, go to our client secret with thing which we just downloaded, our JSON file. Now we're gonna right click rename it and we're going to rename it assistant.json with no space okay hit okay and then now we can cut it right click cut and then go all the way to our home folder file uh, and then um, paste it so I have one already here. I'm just gonna paste it. You don't need two of these. Um, this screen won't pop up if you're doing it for the first time, but I'm doing it for the second time. So I'm just gonna hit skip and just replace that file. So no worries if you don't see that. Well, so now we have got the assistant.json file in the home pi directory. Now we're gonna uh, open up our terminal, oh not this terminal, um, the dev terminal. So the developer terminal on the home screen. And we're gonna open that up. It's gonna load up. And it's gonna say um, hint src backward slash assistant underscore library underscore demo dot py so that's what you're gonna copy so yeah see oh I hit control C you're supposed to right click and copy I got it. okay now I'm gonna paste it paste it and hit enter and I uh, okay Google play some music oh that doesn't work okay Okay, Google, what is 2 plus 4? Okay, that works. I'll show you a quick um, video of it working. And, um, yeah. Okay, Google. Hello. Hi. What can I do for you? Okay, Google. What is 2 plus 4? The answer is 6. Okay. So, this is how you assemble and set up the software for your Raspberry Pi um Google Voice Hat. And um yeah. Okay, Google. Say bye. Auf Wiedersehen. That's goodbye in German. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Peace.